At 914, got to tell you this, we are getting close to Mother's Day. It is this Sunday, and for all you last-minute shoppers out there, you're running out of time to ship that perfect gift to Mama's doorstep. So this morning, we're getting out the glue sticks and glitter and doing good things the old-fashioned way. Morgan Ann is joined with Bethany Winston from Kidding Around Greenville to show us how the perfect gifts for Mom are the ones made with love. They sure are, and for anyone stressing about what to get Mom for Mother's Day, we have you covered. So, Bethany, talk to me about why homemade gifts are just the perfect present for your mom. Well, I mean, I just think there's something that you really treasure and like the thought that, you know, you put into making something homemade or something mm -hmm. special for mom. Like I brought some things here today that my kids gave me years ago that, you know, I still have and they're special to me. Yes, let's run through some of these things right here. And these were all, I'm sure, made with so much love. And so talk to me about um, what some of these are. They're really cute. Yeah, so one of the things I wanted to mention is a lot of our art studios will let you come in and create a gift for mom. So if you're like feeling uncomfortable doing it yourself just call the art studios like my kids made me this little mug one year and these um, I think I got Christmas tree for mother's year <laughs> but you know they, they went to our studio and they just made like what came uh, yeah. to them they thought of me and they made it and then you know it just came home and as a mom that's what means the most yes to you, right? yes um, talk to me about this little birdhouse because I saw this immediately and I was like, that's so cute. Yeah, so I brought this as like just an easy idea. Like if you go to a craft store, mm -hmm. they have all sorts of little wooden objects, magnets, like anything you can think of. And you can just buy some acrylic paint and set up a little painting area yeah. and let your kids paint it. It's real fast. It dries quick. And that's easy too because, you know, like you don't have to build like the object. You can just buy at the craft store. Yeah, absolutely. And um, of course, a good picture of the entire yes. family. Yeah, so I, this is part of like some other ideas so yeah. like you know you could arrange photography maybe like obviously you can't get done before Mother's Day but a lot of times there's things like that the mothers are the ones who always like think of it and do yeah. it and you know especially if you haven't done something like that in a while like maybe just surprise mom with like taking care of like picking the date and finding a photographer and everything of course what's the secret to giving mom the perfect Mother's Day gift you know I think a lot of it's just like knowing what mom likes mm -hmm. and like what she needs at that moment you know maybe she's in a stage of life where she just really needs a day off yeah like she needs a day at the spa or a day where she can just go do her own thing and have peace and quiet. But you know, maybe she's also at a stage in life where she would just really love to go on a hike or do something special as a family. So just yeah. being in tune to like what she needs that year and how you can best like spoil her a little bit. Yeah, and it doesn't have to always be expensive or anything like that too. Like you said, maybe a day off. Maybe the kids and um, dad cook a dinner or something like that or breakfast in bed, that sort of thing. Yeah, it's like just like surprising her, you know, if she's the one who's always cooking, maybe do the cooking that day and make sure you do the cleanup too and just let her <laughs> enjoy like a little bit of space to rest and relax and do her own thing. Yeah, definitely don't want to forget about the cleanup. <laughs> We don't want to leave mom with that. But um, all right, any other quick little gifts that people um, maybe can run out and pick up if they don't have time to create something, like you said, the picture or that sort of thing too? Yeah, so I mean, I think there's like a lot of local artists who create jewelry and different things like that. So a piece of local art could be really nice, a piece of local jewelry, um, you know, just you know, maybe even like a gift card, like I said, to go to the spa or to have like a house cleaner come in for a month or whatever it is you think mom might like. That's a great idea too, a house cleaner to give her a break <laughs> as well. All right, Bethany, well, thank you so much for being here with us. You've always got the best tips for us. Ashley. All right, 918.